What's going on guys? This is the unboxing of the X Predator Wi-Fi con phone control drone. You can control it with your iPad, your phone. What's in the box is aircraft protective covers, the USB charger cable, battery, replacement blades, controller or transmitter, and uh, the drone. You could also control it with your phone. I'm gonna open it up. Got some blades, charger, screwdriver, something else in there, instruction manuals on how to's. I guess you put your phone on this and it uh, holds it. This better open up. Oh, yep, yeah, it does. So, this doohickey is to uh, hold your phone so that you could see it on the controller because this is a FPV drone. This camera is ridiculously tiny. I've never seen something like this. That's the battery right there. Has a little door latch there. This little thing is pretty wicked. I really want to start flying it. These are the blade guards that you put uh, to protect the propellers. And that's pretty much it. Whoa, I knew something was missing. The controller. So it comes with the controller level correction method so you gotta bring it both in emergency oh wow emergency stop is out like that and the level controller before you fly you gotta go in on both okay so the way this works is uh, once you have the uh, drone on and you turn on the controller uh, you go ahead and set the Wi-Fi connect to the uh, so you go ahead and turn uh, connect to the UFO Wi-Fi and then uh, what you want to do is go ahead and uh, put the drone in a place where you're going to take off. What you want to do first is go ahead and push the stick up, bring it down. That way it's connected to the drone. And then you're going to go ahead and put the two sticks inward to get that uh, geometric thing working uh, of where you're taking off. After that, you want to go ahead and press start and the blades start going. To finish off the tech talk with the drone, I love this little drone. This little drone is really freaking cool. All right, here's here's the thing about it. It's so smooth flying. And then if you have a set of VR viewers and you put it, you can actually put it in a split view mode. So that way you can put it in a VR viewer. And I just flew it with the VR viewer and it was amazing because I didn't have to look at my drone. I just simply put on the goggles and I can see with the camera, with the FPV, it was a great drone. I loved it. Quality of the video, as you can see, is not that great, not high def, but it is a pretty cool drone just to fly around and have fun with. I highly recommend it. The price is really good compared to all these other big drones that I highly recommend it. Check out the link on the description below. You're gonna love it too. Also, the headless mode is superb. I love the headless mode. Don't walk around on headless mode. If you walk around on headless mode, you're gonna lose the GP or the tracking of the remote itself. So my recommendation is don't walk around on headless mode. Other than that, you're really gonna enjoy headless mode because you can just fly around and I it's it's good for beginners when you have headless mode. The annoying thing about it is when you're on headless mode, it beeps, but I think actually the majority of drones do that when you're on headless mode, just to understand that you're on headless mode. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Smart BB JXD 510 six axis gyro Wi-Fi FPV headless mode RC quadcopter 0.3 megapixel camera, which explains a lot. This is Rami with Tech Talk, out.